Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel and if you are still our new family member, welcome to the family. So today is Valentine's Day special or we will be discussing what gifts you guys can give to your special one and a special makeup that you guys can carry on Valentine's Day and what can you do and what don't. So let's just start and let me just uh, have my laptop with me. So like while doing makeup tutorial and while talking to you guys, I will be reading your reviews, your comments as well. And today I really don't want to miss any of your comments because let's talk. Give me a second. Hi, Seher. How are you, sweetheart? What's going on? Okay, there you go. Okay, let's just start. First thing, what are you planning for your Valentine's Day? Are you planning to give your special one a gift or something like that? Are you officey? You will be officey. Yeah. So what are you planning? Planning to give him a teddy bear or a flowers or a chocolate? No! Let him give you that. Like chocolates, flowers, wind chimes, um, something cute. Let let the guy give you that because uh, it's your day. Come on. Every day is, by the way, every day is a Valentine's Day. Every day you can celebrate love. But this is something special to girls mostly but yes obviously you have to give something to someone you love because you care because you love so it's better not to spend money on chocolates and a teddy bear or a floor why don't you give him a good perfume or a wallet and trust me that will cost you same same as chocolates and teddy bear so just just give him something that you think he can use in like daily life or uh, things that he kind of needed it. For example, uh, a good wallet, a keychain, um, a perfume, if he is into perfume. If he loves suiting and dressing up, why don't you give him a good pair of st studs? Studs are so amazing and these days studs look so warm and sexy on men, trust me. And casual coats, come on. It's better to spend in something that he would wear or something he just say oh it's cute but it's it's not gonna work so and if he smokes why don't you give him a zippo or um cigarette case or something like that and yes if he is sentimental or something like that why don't you yourself make chocolates come on youtube is full of recipes and everything hi sayada how are you sayada hussein how are you so why don't you guys do that like or if you are a wife, arrange a beautiful dinner with him, a candlelight dinner. Otherwise, ask the man to take you out. That's it. All you need to do is. And what else you guys can gift a man? Come on. If one more thing. If the guy wears spectacles, he has some side problem, the eyesight thing. Why don't you give him a good pair of sunglasses in a power, like in a in his power sight, like. I wear glasses and I know how much it works when you're driving. And even not you, if even you're, you're not driving, sun is kissing you and you just can't see that time. So it's better to give him a good pair of spectacles, sunglasses, or a, let me just repeat, a wallet, a sunglasses, um, a pair of nice hoodie, a white pair hoodie, um, casual coat, if he's into suiting and he like coats, a wrist watch yeah watch watch is a good option as well watch and by the way these days men wear bands and bands do look sexy buy him a good band buy him a good like if he is a good reader buy him a good book yeah that's it don't spend money on flowers chocolates teddy bear wind chimes and different sort of cute things because uh, men are not cute. <laughs> they are handsome. So just just buy them stuff like that. So yeah, perfumes are always favorite. You are right, Hadi. Obviously, men like like perfumes. So just and why don't you guys do that? Obviously, if you love someone, you share stuff. Just randomly ask him what type of scent he likes, what type of perfume he wears. Buy him that one, the one he regularly wears. Even though, come on, you guys can gift him a nice. Uh, set of trimmers 
or yeah for his beard if he carries so just try to dig in that uh, what he usually use and then buy the stuff don't spend on like flowers and teddy bears and chocolates and wind chimes and decoration uh, pieces because it's useless for men. I'm sorry if I'm saying that and if you have already buy it, yeah, you can, if you are a wife, you can obviously get a nice framed picture of you and him because eventually you're gonna use it. So just, just take it for a good memory or if you want to do it and he likes chocolates, why don't you make small little notes and put it inside the chocolate and give it to him with the, with, in a big, big kind of, in a basket or something like that but with the tags on and you can make it at home you can make it cookies at home you can bake cake at home so do that this is what i think now i will be going towards the makeup section my husband loves perfume i will give him perfume and good dinner which i cook for him bang on you got it good like men all men love food like my husband loves steak and stuff like that but on valentine's day he need to take me out but obviously um uh, my husband actually proposed me on valentine's day so this is kind of my anniversary uh, proposal anniversary as well so he need to dig a lot but <laughs> obviously i will be planning some 12 12 o'clock surprise for him uh it's okay he don't watch my youtube channel so he, you, you guys can listen like I will be planning some sort of a very beautiful night with him, like movie night. Come on, if you are a wife, you can do so much. Like obviously, you, your boyfriend is not sneaking in your room and all things, it's your husband. So you can arrange a very beautiful candlelight, uh, uh, like a little dinner type of thing or a tea or a movie night, a movie date. Why don't you guys do that? Come on. Movie date is love, by the way. Popcorns, ice cream, soft drinks. If uh, the guy likes and what what not a good pair of wine pair why i'm saying pair again and again a good bottle of wine and if you're not a alcoholic person you can you can get a juice wine or a juice just cuddle in a blanket oh that's so cute now look harvey this is so beautiful this is beautiful. Okay, guys, now I will be moving towards the makeup because obviously you need to look pretty. And uh, if you're planning for your husband, be a little slutty. Tip from a wife. Okay, so uh, like you guys can see my face is definitely my skin is not in its best, best form because lately I was traveling and uh, my sleep is not well and my routine is very bad very very bad that's why these you can see these marks are here because acne is gone and just left the mark so i don't care about it because i will be doing derma roller and if you guys want to know what is derma roller what this uh lady is talking about i will be i will give you a link down below that you can see what is derma roller and what does it uh do or who kiske kaam aata hai and what type of health he can give you that it can give you Okay, now I'm gonna jump into my base. Many of you know I use uh, Maybelline Luminous Smooth. This one, shade number 120. I have already prep and primed my skin. To prep and prime my skin, I have used Nivea Cream. It's a moisturizer cream the, uh, which comes with a blue tin. So I just apply Nivea Cream on all over on my face and just nicely rub it. And now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna dive in into my primer. I'm gonna today I'm gonna use uh color express hd high defined primer i'm using this primer for the first time so let's just dive in okay primers actually help to conceal your pores to fill your pores because it has some sort of silicon uh, finish in it which actually fill in into your pores your fine lines and it kind of give you a smooth skin to apply your foundation and if you have an oily skin, buy a primer that makes your skin a little matte. So it helps to control your oil as well. It makes your base a little long lasting. Not little, quite. Mm -hmm. For a long time actually. Like this on my nose area, especially this area because I get a lot of oil over here. And also my base just kind of crack every time over here, here. And it's just a tip. 
I know some people apply primer on their problematic area, but if you have some product left in your fingers because it's used, it, they, it's just a little, okay? So just remove your fingers all over your face, your neck, your forehead, your nose area, your, your, your face. What am I talking about today? Okay, now what I'm gonna do, I will be taking my beauty blender. If you think, what's that? It's just a bottle with the water, that's it. My beauty blenders are already dabbed, but I just want to moisture, give it a little moisture, that's it. Okay, now I'm gonna go in this baby heat called Luminous Smooth Maybelline Fit Me, and I'm gonna use three to four pumps of it. Like this, and dab. Don't forget your neck. Always remember, if you are applying base on your face, your neck is obviously your part or whatever skin is showing, apply that base over there as well because you definitely don't wanna look too deep fruity or someone who have four or five toes. Like this. Let me have my clothes mirror so I can see what I'm doing. I'm gonna dab this base like this. It will help my pores to fill in, and that I think uh, like make my base look flawless. Okay, you can drag on your neck, but I would recommend that if you drag on your face, do dab it as well. To make it even like this okay It's not necessary that you have to be all like red, everywhere red. You can only like, if you want to add a little feeling of red, just apply a red nail polish or add just anything which is red, like a red lipstick, just red lipstick, red nail paint, or what can, what else? If you want to add something red. Or a nice pair of red shoes. Ah, oh, finally, the pair goes there. <laughs> okay. As you can see, now my base is perfectly set and applied. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to dive in into my primer. I will, Today I will be using uh, Rimmel London uh, 060 Natural Beige. Primer not only conceal uh, your flaws, but also give you a highlight so i always recommend to buy one shade or two shade lighter from your base because it also helps to give highlights to your face it has a little brush on it so i'm not gonna take it out on my hand so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna apply primer under my eye area this area over here the highlight areas Like this. Onto my head. Tip off my nose. On my jaw area. And the chin. Now I'm gonna dive in back. Where is it? Okay. 
Now I'm gonna dive in back into my beauty blender and dab the concealer. Like this. Guys, is it light is light is fine? If it's not, just let me know. Under my eye area. Like this. On my forehead. my crease like this hi Fessa how are you Now I'm gonna bake this baby up. I will be needing a loose powder. For baking, I will be using, like fixing my makeup, my concealers. I will be using Dermacol Invisible Fixing Powder. Thank you. I'm perfect, I am perfectly fine. Thank you for asking. Okay, now I'm going to take a lot of powder, a lot of product, and then I'm going to dab it under my eye. That will fix my makeup. It makes it bulletproof. Now, it's, that baby is not going to move for a long time. Like this. Gonna put more product here so when i apply eye shades if any eye shade kick back and fall on my face it will directly fall on the powder so it's easy for me to remove it anytime so it's a trick or you can say it's a, it's a tip that if you're going for a heavy makeup and you have applied your base first so just put a lot of powder down here it will also bake, but also give you a safe hand that in any case, any eye shade I give you a kickback, it will fall over here and you can anytime remove that baby off. So, not to worry. Over here, almost everywhere I conceal, I'm going to fix it. Okay, one more thing. When you are fixing it, like fixing your makeup or baking your makeup, it also gives a little, like, not a little, but also depth to your highlights. So it's kind of a good step if you want to do your baking. Otherwise, just fix your makeup and you are done. like this i'm late you are never late moniba i just did my base and i just put a lot of powder on it so i can bake it and you guys can anytime talk about the gifts what are you planning to give gifts like to your husband to your boyfriend to your mother to your dad because obviously valentine's day is not for guys only Okay, now what I'm going to do, I'm going towards my eyebrows. So you are single. It's okay. You are darling ready to mingle. So that's fine. Single, I call single people birds. You guys can fly wherever you like. Looking so cute. Thank you, Hadi. Okay, 
Now what I'm going to do, I will be diving towards my eyebrows and today I will be using powder shades because uh, most of the time I use pencil and you guys requested me to use powders than a pencil. Though there is nothing, there is not, not much a difference but... <laughs> Thanks Muniba. That's true by the way. Let me tell you guys a story while I'm doing this makeup. My, uh, me and my husband like, uh, we were together for like four years now and... Uh, that time I was in university and uh, finally Valentine's Day was there and I used to hate love quotes because I was alone here, he was in Dubai, I was in Pakistan. So I went in my I, I went to my university with a like blinded red lipstick on and uh, from the gate, like the guard, uh, the, the security guard lady, she said, Hey, uh, are you going somewhere? It's a Valentine's Day. And she knew that I can't go anywhere because my husband, my, my fiance is in uh, uh, Dubai and I'm stuck in Pakistan. Everyone, by the way, in my university, everyone knows that. I, I was known as Khwaja over there and every freaking person know me there. So what they do like uh they they literally made fun of me okay, okay she's applying lipstick and all so i said yeah yeah right and then i went inside the and i was so happy that i was celebrating valentine's day then i went inside my class and <laughs> there is my teacher i love her and uh she's a very strict one very like the one who have rules but she is love i wish if she watched this video <laughs> Like ma'am Anna, uh, it was our foundation or maybe second year. So I went inside and she she saw me and she saw other girls as well. By the way, half of my class was ready to go to a date or bunk the class or they were some sort of celebrating it with their loved ones. So she just randomly asked, who is celebrating Valentine's Day? None of them like say me. It was like no one raised their hands and I was... The only one who raised their hand and I said, me. And I was obviously like, I had that uh, dark maroon red lipstick on and I said, me. And she laughed. She said, you are in a safe zone because we all know that mood is not here. I was like, oh, dude, how oh, cute. Everyone knows because my fiance was not here. I can't go. But I was like, that's mean. I, it, it hurts. It hurts. So that's fine. <laughs> Okay, now what I'm going to do, I will be going towards a very nice, like, there you go, eyebrow brush. This is how an eyebrow brush looks like. It's a flat and a little bit edgy. Can you see? It's also called, like, cut, like, uh, it's not a cut. What do we call that? I just completely forgot. I tell you guys in my every freaking video what we call this brush. Ang angled brush. Let me have a little bit of a small version of it. Okay, I think I will be going with this brush. Now, what I'm using, I'm using this eyebrow uh, brush palette. It's from uh, Sweet Rose. The brand is Sweet Rose, like this. And I'm going to pick my color that is uh, chocolate brown. And what I'm going to do, same. Let me just bring my mirror closer like this i'm gonna line my lower area of a brow otherwise if you guys want to know how you can make your eyebrow like on point i will link a video down below where you can learn that step by step Okay, remember one thing. If you apply, if, if you make your eyebrows with the pencil or a brush or sorry, with the pencil or a brush or a powder or a gel, always have a fully because fully will help to create small uh, like uh, hairs. So you need to need to have a fully. It's a comb for your eyebrows. So in any case, if you whatsoever product you are using, you need to have a fully to brush them off.
like this. And now I'm going towards my fully That's my neighbors. <laughs> Ignore. And if he's sitting near my door. Do I tell me the best foundation or a stick? Christine. Ba uh, the stick, the Christine one. I love it. By the way, everyone used the Christine and Trillon stick. If you ask me, everyone. And everyone also recommend you that. Every makeup guru uses that. So, yeah. I personally use that too. Look, I have it. Like, this one is Trillon. And uh, where is the Christine one? Just a second. Let me show you the Christine one. So, you know, it's not a bad thing to have. There you go. It's actually very good in high coverage than other bases. Okay, now can you see both the, the difference between both the eyebrows? This is like a little cleaner and this have a little edgy and roughy texture. So same thing I'm going to go over there, but obviously in a, in a quick way. From the lower side, side, you always start from the start, from here, but from the upper side, you start from here, okay? Because here you are, from this area, your hair is a little lighter. this and then as I have mentioned from the top and then just join both the points together Now I'm gonna go towards my fully. <laughs> like this. And my eyebrows are done. If you wanted to need them, just apply a concealer over here and here and go with your regular uh, blush on and contouring and your zero makeup is done. So what I'm going to do now, I will be applying a concealer onto my lid area because right now I'm going to jump into my eye shades. And today what I'm going to do, I'm going to make a very easy glam for you guys. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to apply a concealer onto my lid area because I want this area to be very clean like a canvas so we always apply lighter shade on the concealer so that the pigments come like in a very rich form so what i'm gonna do now i just apply a concealer onto my lid and with the help of my finger i'm gonna like blend this over okay one more thing if you guys have dark under eyes or dark area over here use orange color corrector to correct that the first thing you have to do is apply orange color corrector like the way you apply base and then apply your concealer that will cover your dark area and eventually that will not look like a purple like this okay same with the other eye like this okay always have like a backup plan in your home like have balloons or a candle something like that so whenever you want to amaze your boyfriend or your husband you have a backup plan like i always have candles lots of candles balloons and stuff like that in my home because 
I kind of try to give my husband surprise almost like every week or anytime I'm happy. That's it. It's nice to have like your time together, enjoy even just a like movie date that I was telling you guys before. Arrange a movie with him or even who, like if you don't have a boy, if you don't have a husband or something, arrange a movie with your friends. Come on. A movie date with your friends or a what we can say a nail polish date or a makeup date or a mani pedi date or a facial date come on girlfriends can do anything come on okay now what i'm gonna do i'm gonna take this fully uh, sorry this is a fluffy brush this one this is uh no name on it okay it's a fluffy brush can you guys see that and i just apply like i just dab my brush into invisible fixing powder of Dermra Core and what I'm gonna do I'm gonna apply it onto my lid area you can apply any uh, light shade or uh, like any eye shade which is in light color to fix that area like this same goes the other eye like this Okay, now what I'm going to do, I will be going towards my eyeshadow palette. I will be using uh, Jaclyn Hill palette and GIF palette, GLF palette. So the first thing I'm going to use is I'm going to again go back to a brush which is fluffier like this. These type of blush, uh, br brushes work with the blendings and the color that you make. You want to make a smoke out of it. What I'm going to do, I will be using this caramel brown shade this one and okay let me just have that and what i'm gonna do i will be moving my brush first in a circular motion and then like a windshield motion to create a depth in my eye like this onto my crease area and by the way if you have like if you have hooded eyes you can make a fake crease and just do exactly what I'm doing. If you notice, my crease is here, but I am starting from here, okay? Like this, and just windshield motion. Circle, windshield motion. Eye makeup or makeup is not that difficult that we made it. It's easy. Look how easily it just blend because I have already applied a fixing powder or any light shade as a transition shade. Transition shades actually help you blend or build your color up and fills the blanked area that you miss this is what transition shade is so what i'm gonna do now again circular motion and windshield circular and windshield same on the other side circular and windshield how your car wipers move like this circle and then dive in like this now what I'm going to do I will be adding a brown shade again with the puffy brush because this is all about blending right now I'm back in my home. That's why I'm more happy. Okay, now what I'm going to do, I'm going to wear this, cho this chocolate brown shade. This chocolate sh brown shade. And same thing. Stretch your eye up to give you a space where you are working. Like it will give you a broader look of the area that you are working. Stretch your eye up and then do exactly the same that we did with the first color. Round and so like well sheet motion like that. And blend them together. lightly add color because the more if you slowly uh like build the color up that won't disturb your eye makeup but if you just directly go with the big chunks or big pigments uh, of a color or a good amount of a color that that might 
don't uh, go wrong it's better to go with the slow hand and slowly strategy build, build your uh, color up like this again circle and go like a sheet wind sheet dark this is dark chocolate brown color like this like this can you see the difference in both the eye it has more depth in it and it's going with the flow like okay now what i'm going to do i will be adding more darker color remember you guys use darker color to bring depth in your eye lighter color to to make it little by the way lighter color pops out and the darker colors sink in remember this this is one easy trick to know what thing you are going to do and what shades you're going to pick lighter shades go out like pop out like this and darker colors sink in this is how the contouring as well works so you can same over here stretch your eye up your eyebrow up and round and then just blend both the colors together and like nicely and slowly just build the color up like this thank you faisal ali like this i'm going to come closer so you guys can see what i did so now you you can see both eyes got the depth and the look now what i'm going to go what i'm going to do now this is a very strange trick that uh, i'm going to share with you guys now i will be going directly towards my contouring and for contouring i'm again going to go back into my uh eyebrow pencil because it has a color that matches my contour so uh with this thing why i'm using the brows thing if you have a color honey that you can use wherever you want to you can use you don't need to buy an other palette for it okay my contour shade is this one it's okay dab the excess powder out and what i'm going to do now i will be like carving my nose with my eye shade area like over here and then like this and slowly i'm going to move it onto my nose tunnel like this same goes here and just join them together merge them both together your eye area this one and your nose tunnel like this okay most of you what how you guys do the wrong thing you apply brown the contour shade all over this area as well all brown no only make a very thin line over here here that's it and let this baby hair need to be light enough okay no need to apply contouring shade over here okay this is how i'm going to like apply okay i'm applying this onto my bridge of the nose this area calls bridge of the nose and then tip of the nose why i apply here like this this area because it gives your like a stop point onto your nose otherwise it give you a illusion that your nose is long and it's just long okay so you need to give a stop like that's it baby nose you have to stop there so you have to apply a little product over here make a little leopard nose or a cat nose whatever you can say like this once you are done with the like line and everything just get a nice puffy brush this is uh, like Kate Von D's 10th anniversary set you guys can have anything like that brush i love this brush why because i like it's just so easy to move here and there like mm -hmm, mm -hmm. okay like this i'm going to like just clean up the nose area i don't want any sharp line over here like this now what i'm going to do i'm going to go back to my beauty blender where the hell is it let me find it
Okay, that's it. I can't find it. It's okay. I'm going to take another one. And what I'm going to do, I will be like dabbing over here. If in case any of the contour area went this way, this side, the baking powder will help it to stop. Okay. like this in the end what i'm gonna do I will, say, I will just remove all the powder up this is working yeah okay now what i'm gonna do after when i contour my nose this is halfway done by the way side so hi gorgeous how are you i'm good sid how are you okay now what i'm gonna do i will be applying a pancake liner over here and then smudge it with the maroon color this is baking powder. Yeah, yeah, this is. This is baking powder. Baking powder, fixing powder is one of the same thing. So don't get mixed with it. Okay, now what I'm going to do, I will be kneading my uh, liner pancake. Pancakes are easy to, if it's not gel, if it's water pancake. Pancakes are very easy to blend them out. So that's why I normally use pancakes. Uh, if anytime i want to blend it but if you guys don't want your liner to be smudged out or something like that just go with the gel liner Faisal ali are you a boy or a girl <laughs> this is a question not from me okay like this Okay, ladies, now what I'm going to do, remember, liner is not a big thing. Okay, just remember that you need to start from the end, end point of your eye. Why? So you can anytime clean it. Do you know now, Maniva? Don't ask her again. <laughs> okay, guys, now what I'm going to do, start from the end area, the waterline area this area and do not apply liner in this line this is gonna be the open eye look so you guys can easily see the pop out uh, like your eye will be a little bit popped up you will love that so just ignore the waterline area this one and apply your liner on the top of it like this stretch it out like this and then just go over here like this half of your eye let me go come closer can you see half side i just applied in the half side it's my like you can say a uh, cue for me okay, okay uh, this area need to be thick enough my liner need to be thick enough from here and i just stop okay now what i'm gonna do i will be filling it up from the center like this okay now i'm going back from the start but i'm not gonna apply it onto my uh socket pala area this area i'm not gonna apply it over here because i will be merging them out like this that's it now what i'm gonna do i will be going back on the other side of my eye and exactly do the same thing so let me come a little more closer to you guys so you guys can see what I did over there start just just get a point like for for a like guideline okay don't apply over here this waterline area okay 
just draw a line a little bit up from it like this now second you need to know is your eyebrow is ending here so just make a tick like this just imaginary make a tip a tri uh, tick in your mind over here and just stop there okay now what are you what you're gonna do is join both the lines together and come in the center of your crease one second like this oh thank you Muniba such a sweetheart do you guys even try it okay up what I'm gonna do I will be now starting from the start point like here but not from the start beginning of my water area like this area the socket area now what I'm gonna do like this I'm gonna like merge both the lines together it's too hard to talk while you're applying a liner like this this is how you apply a liner by the way I'm gonna merge them together I'm gonna blend my liner and another shade with it and make a little smoky liner okay so this is the way you apply a liner that's it this was a trick because most of you guys was asking me we don't know how to apply a liner blah 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 now you know just try trust me the more you try the more you learn okay now what I'm gonna do I will be taking a crease brush like this and I'm gonna add a color over here onto the like liner what happened to me today No, I'm actually going to be using this brush for the blending purpose. Can you see this little brush? It has a very fluffy end, like point, not a point. It ha it's a very fluffy brush, but a small one. It's easy for me to use it and blend the shade out. Now what I'm going to do, I will be diving towards another palette. That is going to be Jill. GLF is its name, okay? And I'm diving towards this color. This is actually a magenta color. More close to like maroon. So I'm going to dive in this color. And blend my liner with this color. Oopsie. Now it's not a difficult thing to blend your liner in. Just remember the way we like blend our crease with the another color exactly same technique we do when we blend the liner with the color. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to exactly same trick while ex using exactly same trick. I'm going to blend this liner like this. You need to end the sharp line that we created on the liner and add a color on it. like this this is why i did not extend the liner from here like i did not apply my liner from here i did not extend it here because i knew it i had to merge it that's why i stop over there because when you are blending the liners to get uh, blending liner and shade together you can move the brush wherever you want to move like this and again I'm gonna add color on the liner it's gonna make it a very like it's gonna give it a depth actually and a very smoky feeling like this okay
and just move a little bit up, a little bit up on your crease. Half of it, not full. Like this. Same with the other eye. If you have a problem in blending your like liner with the shade because it's kind you might have some sort of like loose skin over here, just stretch your eyebrow I uh, sorry, eyelid like this, eyebrow eye area like this and just let me I need to have okay. And blend it. Let me have a mirror. Again, add color. like this now what i'm going to do i will be going back to a puffy brush like this it has no product on it and what i'm going to do i will be blending three of the colors like the brown and the and the chocolate brown and now this color together like over here both sides Okay, and now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna back, go back towards the Jacqueline uh, palette and dive in back with my transition shade, the shade we start from, uh, our crease with, and just merge everything together. This area, this crease area, to create a depth. Over here, back on the dark chocolate brown color in the crease. like this and you are done over here now what i'm going to do i will be removing my uh baking powder from my lower side i am your fan the biggest fan hi love how are you after abemad <laughs> okay maniba that's scary I just removed the baking from like lower area of my eye. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to add color over here on my lower side. Okay, adding color in your lower area actually pops up, pops out your eye. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to dive in back to the same magenta color that I have picked. But I will be blending it with a little bit of maroon, like this maroon and this magenta. A very little maroon, not, not too much red. And just add in your lower area. Same here. Like this. Just remove the excess. Like this. Now what I'm going to do, I will be adding a little black over here. In a lower lash. Not in my waterline area. Below it. like this now look at the difference in both the eyes like here and here because i add a little color down over here it just makes my eye look bigger so 
same I'm going to do here. I have already applied the magenta color down and now I will be merging it with the black shade to give it a little more dramatic feel. Like this. Now, okay. Parlena mere bhi comment. Aapne mera naam to nahi bataayegi. Aapse mulakat. Aada pada gaya. I'll read your comment again. Don't worry. Upa chala gaya. Okay. Now what I'm gonna do, I will be applying mascara on my eyebrows. And then I will directly go towards my lash. And then I'm gonna apply a highlighter over here. But let's just apply a highlighter first. Uh, as I always mention, there is no freaking rule in makeup. That's why I love makeup. I'm using this product, H Cosmetics, a product by H Cosmetics. Pick up and makeup. It's a highlighter. There you go. It's a loose form highlighter. That's why I kind of scare. A bit scary to me because it might have on my right so far. Okay. Oh. It's good. Let me press this a bit. This one. Over there. It's written highlighter, shade number 3. Product by H uh, Cosmetics. I guess it's the brand name is highlighter as well. Yeah. Okay. For highlighting. Oh, this highlighter is so blinding. Can you see? Okay, baby. Okay, for eye. I'm using Zoeva brush set, brush, uh, size uh, 202228. Oh, it's a cream highlighter. I'm using this highlighter for the first time. That's why you guys can see my reaction. Okay, now what I'm going to do, I'm going to add it, add this shade over here in the starting point, starting area of my eyelid. I don't know why, how, I just, I'm just slipping every freaking name. Okay, and join it with my lower lash. Like this. This is kind of blinding. Okay, applying highlighter over here always pops out your eye. Remember that. Like this. Can you guys see? Okay. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to dive into my mascara. I'm going to use Essence uh, Crazy Volume. And I will be applying it onto my lower lash. If anything happened like this, don't touch it when it's wet okay let this thing get dry and then i'll tell you a trick to remove this okay now i have applied mascara onto my lower lash i'm not gonna apply mascara over here because my lashes are long but they i don't know why but they are blondy from the top so that whenever i apply mascara first that like uh, give me very big trouble while applying uh, lashes because my lashes are quite long so I don't want them to distract me, but they are blonde. So yeah. Okay, let me dive into uh, lashes. Lashes 
okay now where is once this is dry take a cotton bird and just remove this baby off that's it without harassing it okay now i'm gonna move towards my eyelashes for lashes i am using it just says lashes and it's some sort of a chinese brand because i wear lashes daily and i don't invest in uh, good lashes for daily malab, tutorial i'm a bit confused okay i will be using this one okay. I know I'm being very slow today. I'm sorry for that. But this is how it works. Now see, I can't find my lash preserve. So I will be applying lash with my own hands. But remember, always apply glue and let the glue dry for a little bit time. Because wet glue won't help you while applying lash. It's like make it messier. So apply glue and wait for like one minute and then apply your lash okay let me apply glue on the lash band this is actually a nice lash so far let me just okay now let this baby dry aside Okay, I kind of love this lash though it's very affordable. I guess I get this lash from 1 to 20 dirham shop because it's so fine. Can you guys, guys see that? Like it's very lightweight from the start and over here and it's so glowy from here. Okay, now let this baby dry for a few seconds and then I apply it and then you guys can see the difference. Okay, now I'm going to go towards my contour. So... I'm going to dive in into my contour area first. So for contouring, same, I'm going to go dive in into the eyeshadow palette that I told you that I will be using as a contouring as well today. So you guys can know you can do multitasking with the shades. Okay, with same contouring shade and I am using um, K20 10th Anniversary set. Uh, you guys mostly saw me like using this brush. Okay, now what I'm going to do, I will be like if you have a long face start from here and then go there but if you have a face like me a round face remember you have to start from here and then go over here okay so i'm gonna like hold this brush a little bit harsh from here and then make my hand a little light onto my cheek area And if it's still like confusing for you, that's okay. Just make a three like this. That will snatch my jaw area. That's fine if you can see uh, like baking powder on my face I will be removing it soon so don't get worried about it
like this and now what i'm going to do i will be removing all the baking powder it has done its work and now i'm going towards my lashes okay let me i need to have a closed mirror okay because i don't have right now a lash uh, tweezers so i will be applying my lash with my hand it's very easy to apply lash all you need to do is start from the like from here okay and just a zigzag if you have a long lash then zigzag and leave your lash over here on the top like this and then stretch it towards the end like this it's this much easier okay look it's done and like let the lash breathe and once it's dry just pinch both your lashes together your own lash and the fake lash pinch it all together like this then with the help of any brush or even with your hand pull it towards up like this now same with the other lash zigzag so if you have like long lash it won't disturb you like this and leave it then just stretch it to the end and press let the lash breathe for a few seconds and then do this pinch it both together and it's done now i can apply mascara though i would recommend you to apply mascara first because uh it will help you but if you have a long trouble making lashes then apply mascara in the end because that will help to stick your uh, lashes all together and now what i'm going to do and remember when you apply like mascara over your fake lash and both la lashes together like use another brush to hold them and then apply mascara if you have a problem with the lash otherwise just dive in and do the mascara thing like this and i'm done okay now i'm going towards my face again and blush on for blush on my all time favorite love is uh, etude shade number 12 where is it if i may find that blush on Okay, so I can't find my blush on, so I need to go and get a new one. So guys, you had to wait for me. I know this video is getting longer, longer, but it's okay. So I'm back. So I'm using this Etude. Uh, uh, Etude Fade Blusher, shade number twelve. This is my all-time love because it's very natural, and uh, I love it when I blend it with my uh, contours. It gives me a very nicey, nice look, a very natural kind of look, and it also like highlight uh, my cheeks. And if you don't know how to blend, just smile, lips, and blush it onto your apple cheeks. Merge that blush on with your contouring, like this. Now what I'm gonna do? I will be diving to. I'm gonna be like a little quick because I'm taking a lot of time and people get bored. So 
now I'm moving towards my highlighter. Okay, for highlighter, I'm using this brush. And I'm going to highlight this area. Whoa. This is blinding. Okay, this is highly pigmented. I didn't dive in back. Uh, if you guys into highlighters, buy this baby. This one. H production. And I think H productions mean highlighter. Yeah. That one. It's very good, very blending. Can you guys see that? Whoa. Okay. A little bit on the brow area. Over here. Same here on the brow area. I'm going to attach this over here. Cupid. Tip of my nose. Bridge of my nose. And that's it. Now what I'm going to do, I will be cleaning my lips up. Because they are a bit dry from here. And then I'm going to go dive into dark red color. Which is, I'm, I'm going to use two lipsticks for that. By the way, if you are not a red person, you can go with a nude or a pink or peach color. Otherwise, because it's a Valentine's Day, I had to do a red, a little bit of red. So, a lot of red actually. So, I'm going to dive in into a very uh, bloody red color. Because I will be mixing, matching two shades together to make that color. So, I just cleaned the dry area of my lip. And now what I'm going to do. I'm going to dive into the two shades that I picked for today's look. And uh, where is the other one? There you go. Okay. One is Huda Beauty Trophy Wife. And the second is Romantic Bird, shade number 11. I just love this packaging. Can you just see? It looks like a color. It looks like an oil paint. But it's a lipstick. I love it. I actually buy this because I love the packaging, to be very honest. Okay. But the color is also bomb. It is. Okay. So now first thing I'm going to do, I will be diving up towards my, this shade. Let me apply. It smells so good. It's actually a cream lipstick. And I, after that, I will apply a matte so it will be fixed. Like this. Now I'm gonna mix this with Huda Beauty Trophy Wife.
there you go let this baby dry okay let me open my hair otherwise you don't want to go with the dark lips i will be doing this with a very light color as well because i like light colors so this is the look let me come a little closer I'm gonna be a little more closer. So uh, now what I'm gonna do, I will be removing this baby and apply a light color lipstick because uh, there are a few people who don't like that much dark or I'm one of them. So, because when you have a dark lips, always go with a lighter shade. I'm going to remove this. Let me just quickly set my lips up and then I'm going to apply the one I picked for this look. Just give me a second. And now what I'm going to do, I'm jumping towards 47 Bel Air. It's uh, Miss Rose uh, lipstick and it has lipstick and an outline all together. Just fill this area. Okay, now what I'm going to do, I will be adding a little pink, like my brush shade in the center to make it little cushions in it. Here, that will look like, it gives an illusion that my lips are a little plumpier. Here. And it's done. Now see, just with one lipstick shade, my look went completely different and amazing. I kind of like this lipstick. That's why I say it's okay if it's a Valentine's Day. Just increase one color in your, uh, like, just to support that you are doing a Valentine's Day. Like your nail paint or anything red or if you want to go with a red lipstick and just apply a good liner. That's why I first tell you how to apply a liner. Just go with the liner and then apply a red lipstick and exactly same I did. I hope you guys like this look. Let me come a little closer now. So I hope you guys like the look. I'm looking and let me see. Okay. So what do you guys think about this look? Like this. I'm all ready. Now we can talk. 
so tell me guys what do you think about this look do you like the highlighter because i love the highlighter i first and use it i just give it a good number to that highlighter and because we made a little dramatic smoky look eye and uh, with the light lipstick it looks so good you can increase you can add red if you want uh, in your lips you can add your red in your nail paint you can uh, you can wear black by the way uh, on valentine's day as well or just wear a red pair of red nice pair of red shoes red shoes will never go out of the board they will look bomb either just use a maroon and cut the crap with the red thing because maroon is actually a true color that i actually love and it's it's actually a a family of reds that you guys can use do and makeup is not a big thing to do you can like change anything whenever uh, you feel like and uh, if you did something wrong or if something went wrong just go to the washroom and wash your face that's it and do it again it's not that difficult to handle i hope you guys like this look i hope now you guys know how to apply liner and how to do your lashes and lipstick and contouring i hope uh, you guys like today's session let me know in the comment section down below and if you see thought you and sweetheart if you watch me for the first time don't forget to subscribe my channel to give a thumbs up to this video if you like and subscribe my youtube channel sorry press the bell icon so you don't miss and miss any of my videos because sweetheart i don't want you to miss any of the videos and in the end love as much as you can but love yourself first and then love others and enjoy everything you have in your life for now i am going so take care bye bye and lots of love from my side bye bye let me just cut this because i had to go with it